Are you ready? Hey guys, it's me, Douglas. And hey, check out this cool armor I made. Yeah, I made it out of cardboard because today I wanted to talk to you about the armor of God. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that knights in shining armor are super cool. And back in the day, soldiers used to wear armor to protect themselves in battles. And their armor was made out of like iron or steel. Like my, my armor is made out of cardboard, so it wouldn't work very well as real armor, but it's still fun to make. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but if you are a Christian, then you are in a battle and you need armor. You don't need steel armor or certainly not cardboard armor. You need the armor of God, spiritual armor. Yeah, because see, the Bible says that our battle is not against flesh and blood. No, our battle is against the spiritual forces of evil. Our battle is against Satan, not against people. Sometimes it really feels like our battle is against people because there's all kinds of people out there who really don't like us. If you're a Christian, there's going to be people who don't like you. That's just the way it is. It's kind of sad, but that's the way it is. But even if people hate you and they say that they're your enemy, they're not. Satan is your enemy. And Satan might use people against you, but in the end, they're not the ones we're supposed to fight. Our battle isn't against them. It's a spiritual battle, not a physical one. And so you need spiritual armor. You need the armor of God. Now, the armor of God is spiritual, but that doesn't mean that it's like magical, right? No, when it's time for a spiritual battle, you don't just say, I summon the armor of God. No, that's not how it works. No, the Bible says that the, the armor of God is the belt of truth and the breastplate of righteousness and feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace and the shield of faith and the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. Now, again, all these things that I'm showing you right now, these are just pieces of cardboard. These are not the armor of God. It's just a cool craft and a fun visual. No, you can't see the armor of God, but it's there to protect you. And again, you don't just summon it magically. They've got, you know, the, the bits of the armor of God have cool names, but it's more than just a cool name. The name is the thing. What it is, is your armor. Let me explain. So like the breastplate of righteousness, the body armor of righteousness, that means that your righteousness acts like body armor. It's not just a fun name. It is what it is. And righteousness means doing what is right. So if you have the breastplate of righteousness, that means that you are doing what is right. If you're doing what you're supposed to do, if you're living your life the way God has called you to, then you've got a strong breastplate of righteousness. And so like the belt of truth, you're supposed to stand up for what is true. You're supposed to say what's true and not lie and not cheat. Feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace means that you should always be ready to share the gospel with anyone that you meet. Ready, willing, and able. If you're not ready to share the gospel, it's like running into a battle without any shoes on. And the shield of faith, your faith acts as a shield. You should know very strongly what you believe and why you believe it. So that when Satan starts throwing stuff at you, when Satan starts, starts shooting you know, metaphorical arrows at you, you can block them with your shield. You can say, I know what's true. I know what I believe. Those arrows aren't getting through my shield. And the helmet of salvation, that has more to do with what God has done for you than what you do in your life. Salvation comes through Jesus Christ alone. The Bible says that if you speak with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. It's the most important piece of armor you can have, and it only comes through Jesus Christ. And the sword of the Spirit is the Word of God, your Bible. Your Bible is like a sword, and just like a soldier needs to practice with his sword to be good at it and know how to use it, you should be reading your Bible and practicing every day, reading God's Word so that you know it through and through. You know what God says. So my challenge to you guys today is that you would put on the full armor of God. And you know, prayer is a big part of that. God would love to help you strengthen your armor. Jesus wants us to put on the full armor of God so that when Satan comes at us with his schemes, we'll be able to stand our ground. Hey guys, I hope you like this video. And man, I'm super excited to start into this series because actually I'm gonna do several more Armor of God videos. Yeah, I'm gonna do a video of each little bit of the armor of God. And I'm so excited because it's one of my favorite passages in scripture. And hey, if you would like to learn more about the armor of God, if you'd like to read about it yourself, check out Ephesians chapter six, verses 10 through 20. I can't wait to talk to you more about the armor of God.